God bless you, people of God. I'm Minister Harden with United Body of Christ Church, and I am happy to be here today to introduce a new <laughs> segment to the ministry, Amen. and it, it'll be called Christian Poetry. Amen. And uh, I have Pastor Harden here with me, as you see, as everybody knows. Um, and what many of what many people and what many of you don't know, I don't think anybody knows really, um, is that before Clarence Harden was a pastor, he was a poet. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, if I can share with you all a little story, when I first laid eyes on him, uh, what about almost 12 years ago, he was standing there and he had on a white shirt, like, you know, a white professional shirt, and he had the sleeves turned back and the tie was a little loose. And my very first impression was him, my very, I'm sorry, my very first impression of him was, this guy looks like a Shakespeare. <laughs> and come to find out, he was writing poetry. He had been writing poetry for years. Um, and so we're here to talk to Pastor Hart today about our new segment. Like I said, it's Christian Poetry, Amen. and we're adding that. Praise be to God to the ministry. And I just wanted to interview Pastor, if you all don't mind, and just ask him a few questions. So, um, Pastor Hart. Yes, ma'am. How long did you start writing? How long ago did you start writing poetry? Wow. Um, I grew up with my grandparents. Okay. And, um. I was probably maybe nine or ten, and I started to put stuff on, put thoughts on paper, if you will. Okay. My mom, uh, you know, I, I bless my mom, bless God for her, who I love and, and enjoy. My mom, she, beautiful gift as far as writing goes as well. But it was around that time uh, that I was able to start taking my thoughts and putting them on paper, and... I knew then that, you know, I believe that the uh, Lord has blessed me in that area to be able to uh, to put on paper what I probably wouldn't echo in words. Okay, okay. So I would say, to answer your question, I would say it had to be when I was younger. Wow, like okay. Nine or ten. Okay, you know? all right, amen. And And so would you say that someone or something or some event in particular was an inspiration to you? Things, the, the, the deepest writing or the most clarity of writing for me has always been through turmoil or after a storm in my life, okay. during a storm or after a storm. That's been the most, uh, that's when I would get the most inspiration. Okay. Um, the, uh, nevertheless, I used to be a, a rapper before I, <laughs> before I understood what to do with it. Yes, you heard that right, a rapper. <laughs> Before I understood what to do with it, I had a, uh, growing up in South Bend, Indiana, okay. had a, uh, a partner of mine in, high, in, in school, in high school, in middle school, and, and uh, we used to, we formed a, a rap group. Okay. And we had a, <laughs> we had a, a DJ that was well known. Uh, to DJ parties, he was well known. People okay. would stand in line to get his services for parties on the weekend. And, and one day he heard my partner and I rapping, and we were going to get somebody. We mm -hmm. didn't fight with hands back in the day. We fought with, with pens words, and right. microphones, right? right? right. And uh, he he liked what he heard, mm -hmm. and he he asked us if we could, you know, join him, mm -hmm. you know, and he had ambitions to be big, but. Even then, my writing was different from my partner at the time okay. because he was my partner. He was more um, graphic. Mm -hmm. He was more hardcore. Right, right, okay. And I, I knew then, and he knew then, that the way that the Lord had inspired me to write had always been to um, define the times that we were living in. Okay, okay. And... Um, so, you know, the writing, as far as rapping go, I, I don't think that my, <laughs> it, it made people hear and listen, mm -hmm. but with him, we were night and day. Okay. And so, obviously, the house divided against itself wouldn't Cannot be able stand. to stand. Right, yeah. right. I think it also goes to show that with God having had that, had a call on your life to work for him yeah. and to minister and preach for him versus the world. So, yeah. Um, now, I think naturally it wouldn't have worked, you know, 
because you had a call on yeah, your life. Absolutely. Um, with this new segment, with this Christian poetry segment, um, what do you hope to accomplish by adding this to the ministry? God has given me these poems. I mean, and they're powerful. Those of you that, that you're, you know, hopefully you'll get a chance to listen to the first one that we've put up. We've already uh, gone for the uh, copyright of it. Right. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so the first one w that we'll be putting up, it's, it's really um, the things that God had to say in the way of things that he was seeing concerning his men and his men and women of the body of Christ. Um, what he had me to put in words were profound, and this goes back some 15 years right. okay. that I sat on. And I've always wanted to bring forth the writing as far as, you know, the, what God has given me to share with others. And there was a time that I announced it in our Bible studies, but for some reason I, I, I don't believe that the Lord had opened up the way for us or moved us to do so. Now we come to a point in our ministry to where when we first started out, um, we didn't, I would say in our Bible studies when we first started out that we don't, we don't need people's money. We can do what, you know, what God would have us to do. But that's when God didn't give us a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Just, I need y'all to be consistent mm -hmm. and I need you to do what I need you to do. And as our ministry begins to grow and as it has grown, we found ourselves working a lot outside of the camera, um, right. going to uh, uh, baptisms at, right. at hotels. You know, we would actually uh, get rooms, travel to travel out of state to, to a hotel to actually baptize people because people had to have a need. People are hungry and they want to be blessed. They want to be a part of God's kingdom. Uh, our expenses have begun to increase, you know, and the equipments that we, we, that we use, our vehicles that we use to get to and fro, uh, even for the ministry to go to and fro, things begin to have wear and tear like our bodies True, do. Right. And so there is a great need now to to replace or to to repair or replace that which we have care of. And so I was asking God, you know, Lord, I, I you know, we, we need this and that done. This is rising up. That's rising up and it's coming against us, you know, financially. Um, what can we, you know, is there, can, can you help me out? <laughs> and, and all of a sudden, it's like the Lord shows me, the Lord shows me that those things that I've given you, now okay. is the time for you to start sharing them. Okay. okay. And I was like, wow. And, and I've taken the collection of poetry off the shelf and, and started looking at them and, and, um, you know, from and just and be, I've became inspired all over again. Uh, you know, by what God has shared with me, and so one of the things that we're hoping to accomplish, we never wanted to take God's Bible studies and raise money off of it. That's not what we do. But we're hoping to take some of the poetry okay. and to share it with others. And folks, if you're inspired, um, and and if you like what you've heard and you want to hear more, uh, we're asking if you could just help us financially. Um, whatever you give, five, ten, twenty dollars, these things help us to do things that that goes on outside of the camera. Um, helps us to take care of the business that need to be taken care of. But we also believe in this ministry. One of the things that we say, um, we believe that when you give to this ministry, that you're giving to the kingdom of God. But one of the things that we say is, if you know that your brothers and sisters are in need of something. Instead of giving to us, Give bless them. them because right. you're still giving to the kingdom of God. Right. Amen. You're, Amen. you're still giving to the kingdom of God. But if the Lord has put on you to, to bless his kingdom through this ministry, we can use your help. But regardless of whether you help or not, <laughs> we still, I believe, God wants me to start sharing right. with you Amen. Uh, what he has started to allow me to give and to share with you. And I hope you're as inspired with it as I was to be able to write what the Lord had put into my spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, Pastor, we appreciate you being here with us today. Oh, thank and you for having me. <laughs> thank you for having just me. Just to wow. let everyone know, the first um, poetry video is in the works. We're working on that now. Mm -hmm. um, we hope to have that out, what would you say, maybe the next day? 
I'm opening next day, today. Because it takes a lot of work to put that together. Yeah, so. Well, I'm hoping I'm later hoping. on this evening we can right. have it have it for you right. and have it available for you. It's, okay. it's definitely in the works. And it's called Shortcomings. And uh, my wife is recorded on there, uh, given the opening scripture for it. And one of the things we don't want, to, you know, folks, you called me long-winded. <laughs> I've, got, I've gotten emails from people that be like, Pastor, you just, you, you get, your Bible studies are entirely too long. Well, if you think that's long, wait till you see some of this poetry. Back in the day, I called it story because there was it's stories. It's a good name for it. It, uh, it really it, is yeah. a good name for it. And if you listen to it, you got to listen to it. You'll hear the story. You may be able to relate to it, or you may know someone, you Amen. know, you may know someone that identifies with Amen. it, you know, or just the state of the world, um, what's going on right now, and the things you hear and see, you'll see how it lines up with the uh, poetry. Like he said, which was, um, which God gave to him, you know, gifted to him, and he wrote, what, 15 years ago. Yeah. So. Amen. So just one of them you'll see that will follow this video, this recording, that will follow that um, later today. Amen. So God Amen. bless you, folks. Thank you for allowing this ministry to minister to you. Thank you for your prayers. Um, thank you for your prayers for my family, for my beautiful wife. And, folks, she works just as hard as I do. And um, we just, again, we thank you for your support. Amen. 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 Thank you. Oh. <laughs>